Pelosi faces her toughest moment of truth yet Pelosi managed to defuse one Democratic rebellion Wednesday, as the House narrowly passed a measure extending the government's borrowing authority until December 2022. But she has so far failed to solve a far bigger drama that is splitting the Democratic Party. Pelosi's persuasive powers and legislative tricks have failed and several gambles, designed to enact a $3.5 trillion social spending plan and a $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill, have backfired. The showdown is over what supporters say is the most significant legislation in generations to help working Americans access child care, education and health care. The measures are not only critical to Biden, they would crown Pelosi's own legacy toward the end of a pioneering career that, until Kamala Harris became vice president, made her the highest-ranking woman in U.S. political history. The California Democrat is in her second turn with the gavel, after going head-to-head -head with Republican President George W. Bush after becoming speaker in 2007. Her role in acting economy-saving legislation during the 2008 financial crisis and driving President Barack Obama's agenda into law, including the Affordable Care Act, made her one of the dominant political figures of the early 21st century. But as she tries to pass trillions of dollars in infrastructure and social spending, Pelosi is now in what looks like an impossible situation. I'm not going to gainsay her situation now. No margin for error the speaker has several huge problems as the critical vote, which she scheduled to placate moderate Democrats who view it as crucial to their re-election hopes next year, looms. First, she has almost no margin for error in the House. The tiny Democratic majority means she can only lose three votes. Almost every lawmaker in a restive and ideologically diverse caucus must be on board for everything and there can be few opt-outs for lawmakers who fear tough votes that could end their careers. Second, Pelosi's writ only runs on the House side of Capitol Hill. The current stalemate over Biden's priority bills is pitting her against several moderate senators in a chamber that Democrats control with an even slimmer majority than she has in the House, meaning any one senator can kill any bill. If it does prove impossible to eventually pass the two bills, and Biden's domestic agenda crumbles, the last few fraught weeks will become a lesson in the futility of trying to pass transformational laws with such tiny majorities. Pelosi's capacity to get her own caucus in line has been thwarted by progressives who see passing the $3.5 trillion spending bill as an existential moment for their movement and sense a moment of historic leverage. At the root of the problem for Pelosi, who huddled at the White House with Biden and Senate Democratic Majority Leader Chuck Schumer on Wednesday, is a complicated mechanism for passing the bills that she helped construct. The idea was to offer progressives an incentive to vote for the infrastructure bill, which they consider far too small, by linking it with a spending package. And moderates were thought to be so keen to see the infrastructure bill enacted that they would hold their noses and vote for the much larger spending bill. Frustration with Senators Pelosi has expressed extreme frustration that Democratic senators like West Virginia's Joe Manchin and Arizona's Kirsten Sinema have not even been able to say publicly what level of spending and programs they will allow in the spending plan. We don't have choices to make yet because we don't know what the choices are Pelosi said on Wednesday. Her comments were heard by Manchin who issued a rather scathing response to the question that has preoccupied Washington for weeks as the drama over Biden's agenda has unfolded. What does he want? I would never ever think about telling Nancy how to her operation. She knows what she's doing Manchin told reporters. But the West Virginians gambit late Wednesday appeared to make Pelosi's already vexing position even more difficult, as progressives signaled it had only stiffened their resolve. I can tell you that his statement has just probably created at least a bunch more votes on the House floor against a bipartisan bill Washington Representative Pramila Jayapal, the chair of the Congressional Progressive Caucus, said. No one knows if or how Pelosi will get out of her current political vice and effectively save Biden's domestic legacy. If she eventually manages to do so, the two bills will likely rank as the greatest achievement of a historic Washington career. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.